Sabrina, don't just stare at it. Eat it. It's caught on in a flash. They did the mash. They did the monster mash. Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here and I'm here to review American Psycho. Before I review American Psycho though, my guest stars Real Chase Lee and Trey Passer are going to review the film, so you two take it away. Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Chase Lee from Real Reviews and uh, no, we're not reviewing Team Wolf today even though my chest hair is very sexy and sultry uh, and probably will make you throw up in your mouth a little bit. No, we're here to review American Psycho. Um, this is the Killer Collector's Edition, and it lives up to its name because Christian Bale on this cover is staring right at me, and he wants to kill me. It's okay, Christian. It's okay. We're all, we're all friends here. No? Okay, I'm going to put you down. Anyways, Christian Bale plays this character who's on Wall Street. He's very successful at his job. He makes a, a crap ton of money. He's got a fiancé played by Reese Witherspoon. He's got a group of people he hangs out with. They're not really his friends, but they hang out with him and they tolerate him. But uh, here, here's the catch. He, he kills people. He murders people basically because he likes it. He also rapes people. So basically he's like the best human being in the world. And he should you know, win the Nobel Peace Prize. But he's the type of character to where like he's the everyday guy. Where, like, you'll see him on the street and, like, you look at his face and go, you look normal. But you look like you got a lot of pain behind those eyes, but I don't know what that pain is. Oh, it's murder? Oh, okay. But, like, the whole point about this movie is, towards the end, we don't know if he actually did any of these killings or not. That's all I'll say. I don't want to tell you much about this movie. I'm just going to give you my spectacle on it because you need to watch it. It's just that type of movie. But towards the end, we don't know whether he did all this or, like, if it was in his head. So it raises the, raises the question, like, if you're at a local coffee shop and, you know, some barista didn't get your pumpkin spice latte with extra cinnamon and milk or whatever the crap you put in it, and you get angry at that barista, would you kill it? Kill it? Kill him or her? Would you? Come on. Are you that angry enough to kill people? This movie kind of raises that question, and so... I really like it. It's sick and depraved, and you gotta be sick and depraved to like it. I guess I'm sick and depraved. But this is, it's just a, it's one of those movies that you just wanna watch and like, kind of, it's like a character study. It's a character study of Christian Bale's character. Now, it's based off of a book written by Brett Easton Ellis, and he also did Rules of Attraction, which is one of my other favorite adaptations. And so this one stars Christian Bale, like I said. This is actually the first movie I saw Jared Leto in. That's right, singer from 30 Seconds to Mars, ladies and gentlemen. The guy that just won a, an Oscar. Yeah, he's in this movie. <laughs> Do you like Huey Lewis in the news? Uh, that's Okay, that's all I'll say. That's one of the quotes from the movie that involves Jared Leto, and it's hilarious. Um, there's a lot of quotable lines from this movie, like the very opening montage of Christian's character, I don't use alcohol rub, or alcohol wipes because it dries out my skin. Like, it's, it's a very quotable... Uh, Horrible film. And the acting is good. Uh, like I said, Jared Leto, his character is, is awesome and the way he dies is very just kind of funny. Uh, Christian Bell is psychotic in it and I would never let him into my house. Um, Reese Witherspoon is Reese Witherspoon. Uh, let's see. William Defoe is in it. I forgot he was in it. William Defoe is good in anything. And Justin Thoreau, a.k.a. Jennifer Aniston's uh, husband. Hubby. And so, all around cast is good. It's shot well. It's, I love the way it's shot because in every scene, it like, almost every scene takes place at night. So it's lit very, very well. It's lit like that dark, gritty look of New York City. And so, I think they nailed the tone of this book. I've never read the book, but I think they nailed the tone of the movie. And if it's the same tone as in the book, it, then it's going to, it's a great adaptation. But, I've never read the book, so I can't really judge. I'm just knowing from a film standpoint, I really love the way it was shot and lit. Um, Editing-wise, like, it's, you know, it's, I forgot. You know, i got to look at the, the case. You know, it's 102 minutes, um, but I, I'm never bored because Christian Bale's character is so interesting. Like I said, it's it's the character study on this character. And you want to kind of just watch and see where, where a psychotic mind takes it. 
And this is one of the only movies that you'll ever see a intense, suspenseful conversation about business cards. No joke. So, overall, I love the direction of this movie. I think Mary Heron did a really good, really good job directing this dark, gritty, psychologically messed up character in his world, in his head. I love all the actors in it. I think it's shot well. I think it's lit very, very well. I think for an hour 40, it's not bad. It flies by and it makes you, like I said, think afterwards about, like, you know, did he do this? Did he not? Like, it never, and it's never revealed. It's not, it's not a spoiler. It's just never revealed. It's, it leaves you on those note, leaves you on a note that goes, hey, I wonder if it was in his head or not. That's basically what you'll be saying. In this movie, American Psycho. I enjoyed it. So, you know, I highly recommend it. I would, I would probably give it eight, eight or nine out of ten. I can't really decide. I'll go the high end. I'll go nine out of ten. It's one of my favorite uh, movies. It's one of my favorite Christian Bale movies. Pick it up. Kick, pick up the Killer Collectors Edition. That way, you can have Christian Bale stare at you at night, and uh, you'll just be scared the entire night and hide in the fetal position. So, that is my review on American Psycho. If you'll excuse me, I have to go return some videotapes. That's also a line from the movie. But I had to go return some videotapes for real, then, though, so... No, I just lied to you. I'll see you guys later. Hi, this is Straight Passer. Welcome to uh, my review of American Psycho, 2000's American Psycho, starring Kristen Bale. Um, first of all, I want to thank uh, 22 Tiger for um, allowing me to uh, participate in his, you know, his annual uh, Halloween extravaganza. It's, YouTubers to film horror films. Yeah, this is uh, so thank you for that, 22 Tiger. And uh, the reason I want to see this movie in particular is because I read the book, uh, book somewhere, massive piles of mess around here. The book by uh, Brett Easton Ellis, I think that's the guy, author's name. Easton Ellis. And I remember reading the book, was, uh, and the book is a lot sick. To say that first of all, they couldn't film the way the book is, okay? But it's a book and you can't put it. And then I heard they were making a movie, so I had to see it, okay? And basically, the story of American Psycho is a uh, investment investment banking executive, Patrick Bateman, played by uh, Christian Bale. Uh, you know, he works on Wall Street for his father's company, and he has his friends, and he goes around. It's the '80s, of course. And he, Patrick Bateman is a very particular in his suits, and there is even a great beginning of it where they show the apartment that he lives in, uh, the things that he does to get ready, you know, the exercise he does, the uh, makeup that he puts on, the, uh, you know, the condition down to his suits. Everything has to be absolutely perfect for him. And his friends are like, they're all, you know, vapid. They, you know, they hang out lunch in fancy places, don't really talk much about anything. about anything. Of course, they have their girlfriend. They, you know, it's very much an 80s style, you know, sort of lifestyle that they live, you know, a, a very empty. You know, he's jealous of the guys getting advantage. Of. There's even a great scene where they're pulling out business cards and comparing them to each other's, you know, what, you know, what they're made of. It's a, cl a classic scene. And basically, this movie, American Psycho, is packed. Bateman's descent into madness. Basically, he, I guess, he gets bored with his, you know, the everyday life that he, that he you know, the going to work and and everything, and then he starts escalating it to the point where he starts these, he starts killing, you know, and he, you know, it just escalates and escalates and escalates. Okay, <laughs> Kristen Bale is absolutely fantastic as uh, uh, Patrick. And that, you know, the scene that people have talked about, you know, of course, it's the Huey Lewis <laughs> scene where he's, uh, you know, he invites one a fellow uh, executive over to his, to his apartment, and he basically uh, starts telling him the uh, uh, the history of Huey Lewis in the news and, and playing the latest hockey. The scene is this classic with uh, <laughs> with uh, Christian Bale, with, and, and, and Jack Leto plays, of course, the executive. That, uh, that he kills, and it's just a fantastic scene. His whole mannerisms is, is a fantastic scene to watch. Of course, like I say, he descends into more escalating violence. He's, he's hired, he starts hiring hooks and doing 
really, really sick things. And like I said, as a fan of the book, trust me, the movie could never be as graphic as the book because the book was really, really graphic in the things that he did uh, to women. I mean, just there was just, you know, Brett Easton Ellis must have a really sick imagination because the stuff that he did was just far beyond it. Even in this movie, the stuff that he does was just, just incredibly, and like I say, it escalates and escalates and escalates. And you think that something's going to happen to him because he's, you know, he's getting more and more. He's, he can't keep it together, and it's, it's escalating and escalating. Okay, and then there comes a point where you, where you kind of falling it. Okay, this comes a point uh, towards the end of the movie where you kind of raises uh, questions. Now, let's put it that way without spoiling it. Okay, but like I said, Kristen Bell is absolutely fantastic uh, as Patrick Bateman. He just gives a great performance. It's just, you know, it's the whole attitude. And, oh, yeah, Reese Witherspoon is in this. She plays his fiance, his, his, his rapid fiance who uh, doesn't really pay attention to really, uh, really understand what's going on with him. He, you know, he's like talking over because and, and she's making wedding plans to get married and he has no intention of getting married. Of course he's screwing around with his friends fiance and you know it's this whole step of a back at lifestyle and like I say he just you know, his, his his behavior just escalates and escalates to the point where he you know like I say he literally starts killing people. Yeah it's a great performance by Kristen Bale. Absolutely fantastic. So I'm going to give American Psycho, and this is the uncut version I watched, uh, and you can't forget that classic line also, don't, don't stare at it, eat it. <laughs> that's, that's a great line. Anyway, I'm going to give uh, American Psycho, I'm going to give it an 8, just because of Christian Bale's performance. He just absolutely sells, you know, the madness. He, uh, he completely sells, he's a great psycho, put it that way. Okay, and it's a again. That's my review, and I definitely highly recommend this movie. This movie came out in 2000, so most people should have seen this by now. Okay, and I know they did a sequel, Kunis, which I think I, I think I saw part of it on cable. This is the movie to see, okay? American Psycho. Again, I give it an 8 out of 10. Just a fantastic Kristen Bell is that. And just, again, shows you how he just immerses himself into the room. He just, you know, he's just fantastic. Okay, okay, so that's my review of it. 8 out of 10. And again, thank you uh, 22 Tiger Dew for including Halloween extravaganza. So thank you. Hopefully I'll you'll invite you back for next year. Okay? And this is Trey Bass saying so long. And Thank you so much, Real Chase Lee and Trey Passer, for reviewing American Psycho. So, American Psycho is a film that a lot of people love. They think it's a masterpiece. The critics praise this film as well. However, I don't think American Psycho is phenomenal. I wouldn't even go out of my way and say it's a good movie. I don't hate this movie. I just thought it was okay. It was an okay movie to me. There were things I liked about it, but there were things I didn't like about it. Everyone does their part very well, whether it's short, like Reese Witherspoon. Her role wasn't very big, yet she does a really good job with her role. But there's other roles where it's huge, like, you know, the lead role, Christian Bell, who plays the character Patrick Bateman. And... He's phenomenal here. This is one of the best performances Christian Bell has given. Christian Bell managed to really catch my attention throughout the whole movie. Even though I hated his character, I hated the stuff the character did, but Christian Bell managed to have that incredible screen presence. I would even go my way and say it was a well-directed movie. It's from director Mary Heron. Definitely how she sets up the pieces of the movie. It looks really intriguing and she definitely had a unique sense of style to keep me into the uh, to keep me engrossed with the movie at times and even when there were scenes i wasn't quite liking her direction still felt strong and the narration that patrick bateman does those are probably my favorite scenes of the movie actually and there are some moments here and there where i laughed I gotta go return the videotapes line or of course where i just send the intro sabrina don't just stare at it eat it 
everyone basically knows that line. So, you know, I enjoyed things like that in the movie. And the ending of the movie was really interesting. It leaves you as the audience to really decide how the movie ends. Like, was it all real? Was it all a dream? Now, my negatives with American Psycho, though, is that some of the scenes do feel like filler. Like, really mainly the scenes where Patrick Bateman is having sex with these women hookers basically he's paying women just to have sex with him those moments I always felt like they were filler like there was no need for those sex scenes and there was definitely no need for without spoiling anything for him to run around naked with the chainsaw I'm not gonna go into any more details but that scene was totally unnecessary and scenes like that it's hard to relate to the character because he kills even an animal and that's where I'm gonna go to the one scene out of all the other scenes I truly did not like about this movie it's a scene with the homeless man and the dog I think you guys could kind of give an idea of what happens to the dog. I really don't think that scene was needed at all. I do not why they even added that scene. I'm a huge dog lover. I love dogs. When I saw that happen, it got me in a bad mood for like maybe 10 to 15 minutes while watching the movie. Yeah, it's hard to go over things like that because I love dogs that much. Some of the dialogue felt a little weird too. Some of the scenes in this film do feel off in terms of how violent it is at times, how psychotic it is, and even when he is acting psycho, it does feel weird, and it's hard to really buy it, and like I said, it is hard to relate to the character, although Christian Bell really brings his A-game with the character, the character himself is really hard to understand. Overall, American Psycho is definitely a unique film. I appreciate it, but me personally, American Psycho is just a film I could only watch once, and that's it. Yeah, it was okay. So I'm gonna give American Psycho two and a half out of four stars. So I wanna give a special thank you to Real Chase Lee and Trey Pastor for reviewing American Psycho. These two gentlemen are very cool. Please check out their channels. I will leave a link in the description below.